I take only what I need. You have slain an enemy. I bang it. Are we playing against Nasus or is it Nasus mid, do we think? Does it matter? Oh, I'm just feeling Nidalee today. I've never beat Nasus with Nid, show me how. Alright. In this kind of matchup, it's just we have to make sure Nasus chooses. What I mean by that is that he can either E the wave or us. He's not allowed to do both. Should get one more out, I feel like. I'll go E second here. Just start regening, and then we can out sustain him. Maybe I've gone two points E here if I wanted to. Now we hold the wave. Yeah, I probably should have gone two points E, but it's fine still. He's putting a lot of resources into trying to poke me down, right? But he's running out of mana quicker than we're running out of HP right now. We're chilling. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I did not think he would reset that bush. Yeah, that would have been a quick way to lose the game. Nice straight flash. I think it's good for me. Well, we're dead, but this is fine trade. We missed a few minutes, so. Now the only question we have is like, do we want to go Swifties here, or do we want to grid Sheen? I think I'll grid Sheen. And I want TP back here, so that we can trade a bit with him. Get both of us to kind of low HP and then TP back with advantage. It's kind of low on sacks. This build is not like as relevant in a sense on getting sacks on us, of course, early on. But he's focusing a lot on trying to poke me down. Which means that he's losing value in other aspects, right? Now if we wanted to, we could reset TP. I think I'll hold greed for a bit more though. We just be a bit scared of getting dove, that's the only thing. Not gonna jump on him because Sudra is probably top side. It's weird that he's saying though. We should be fucking careful, yeah. Good shit. He doesn't have flash yet, so he has in 5 seconds we flash at the same time. Ah, my degree. I'm gonna say might. I mean, I'm fucking dead. Oops. That's fine. 
That's so splash again. Any assault? I think he's dead. Shake was so fed. Alright, we can take the entire tower here if we want to. Like, generally, why you wouldn't take tower is just to extend the lane phase, right? Because once we take the. Okay, never mind. Yes, TP, so we cannot take it. I'm not sure I would have either way, but. Because I feel confident I can get it before 14. Like, on Italy, I feel like snowballing heavily, right? So I'll often look to accelerate as much as possible. Which means that a lot of the time I will take the first tower really early, just to make sure I can start hitting the second one if I want to. These trades don't make sense for him. I'm gonna also sustain him quite heavily. I don't know, he's just tilted, I guess. He doesn't have ult yet, so. Now, probably what I would have done is just take some waves, or like take the wave, take the first plate, go behind tower and start showing him out, and then take the tower is probably what I would have, would have done. If we're doing grubs, I would maybe have just have gone grubs instead. And then we can make sure we get the tower later on, anyways, so we should. I'm about to destroy Breaker this game. I don't know why there's a little top, but sure. But like this Lulu actually needs a new life or what? Like, come on. Well, this Lulus is hugging us. I probably should stop hard shoving at some point. But now I am some sex. And now we can pressure him. Now it's our turn to have the gang come up. Shake us a goat, bro. Uh, why would you run out that way? Sorry? Just run out the other way, you're shilling, bro. Nah, that's fine. So there is a mega fed, bro. I should have dashed your wall, I guess, early. That's a flash. Lucian's not here and we're one man up. It's just free now. Oh, I guess not. We have zero damage on this guy. Oh, I mean, I feel like we kind of need Shaco to just hit this guy, but Shaco was below. Where Smolder deals zero damage at the moment. Is the fact that no one can actually deal damage on him, right? That's the problem. Because my build is also kind of awkward at dealing with him. It would be a better build versus Suder. But something that kills tanks, generally. Um, Strybreaker is just like item that helps you stick on people or get people off you. So in that sense, Strybreaker is not terrible to get him off me. But I'm not going to get him off me anyways, probably. So I would rather go like Witsend. For example, like it allows to attack more, Terminus, something Sky I think is better because you're allowed to play more slow, right? But mainly something that empowers your auto attacks, right? And play allows to play on range rather than playing melee. Oh, that E doesn't hit.
Nei, det er så viktig jeg får lov for å holde nå, until we get one or two heals opp. Ah, vi har played that good, but it's fine. I might be dead for it, but that's fine. Stir, having ways back up. I think I go Sturax. Can we stop face checking the Sudor for fun? Like we know he's there. Maybe hold breakers an angle here, like honestly. I don't hate going hold breaker because I still kind of just want to sideline away from the other. That's the saddest polymorph I've seen in my life. They actually end this one. Ah, oh, but just let me make progress on side lane, bro. Why do we fight? Like, we have Shaco as well. Shaco can use fog me side. This game was also mega free. But I still think we were in the winning spot until then. Just go 1 free one Like, we should win both side lanes, and we're just chilling now. But this already never went side lane. I don't know.